Welcome to another lecture in our lecture series on design of steel structure building based on Indian code. In our previous lecture, we completed with the analysis portion and today we will begin with the design portion. So before starting with the design portion, let me see two things here first. First, let me select this column here and then right click on this column. Let me unlock this model. Let me select this column and right click here. Okay, not in column. Let me select any beam here first. Let me select this primary beam here and right click here. Let's see two things here first. First, under this assignment tab, you see that the section property assigned to this is ISMB 250 and the bracket this auto beam represents the auto select list that we created let me go to this auto beam auto select list here for that go to define section properties and frame section we have here auto beam here if you select this and then left click and modify show property you see that this auto select list has three sections here ismb 250 ismb 300 and ismb 350 so currently out of these three sections, this beam is being assigned the ISMB 250 property. So when we design this structure, the beam starts, this beam is designed by starting with this ISMB 250 section. And if it is not sufficient, then the software selects the other sections from our auto select list. So this is about the auto select list and section property. And under this design tab, you can see that the design procedure is steel frame design. So again, if you select now this secondary beam here and then right click, you see that under this assignment tab, the currently assigned section to this secondary beam is ISMC 125. And this is one of our section that we have provided in this auto sec beam auto select list. Similar is the case for this secondary beam also. The software starts the design of our secondary beam using this section ISMC 125 here. And if it is not sufficient or if it is very much larger than that required, then the software selects the other options from our list. Now, if you go under this design tab here, you see that the design procedure here is composite beam design. Remember, we defined a metal deck sheet as our slab for this steel structure and those metal deck sheet were supported by our secondary beams. So the secondary beams and the deck slab together constitute the composite beam because they show composite action. So a different design procedure is adopted for the design of such composite beam. So both of these steel frame design and composite beam design options are available under this design tab here, steel frame design and composite beam design. Now one final thing, let me go to this plan view here. What I have done here is that all of these beams at the periphery that you see here, I want all of these beams to be of the same section size. I don't want this particular beam to be of 250 mm and then this to be 350 mm i want them to be of the same size so what i did was that to do that i created different groups here we have already discussed the creation of groups and assigning different objects to those groups while modeling our truss structure for that what we do is we go to define and we then select the option group definitions here I have created different group definitions. The method to create is just to click on add and then to rename this group by double clicking here. I will delete this group one for now by clicking on delete. I have created different groups here. For example, this first floor main beams, first floor secondary beams, second floor main beams, second floor secondary beams, and then the third floor beams. What I did is, this is our first floor plan here. I assigned all of these beams at the periphery to this group, first floor main beams. I did that by first selecting all of these frames, whichever are required, and then going to assign and assign objects to group, and then selecting the required group from here. 
So I assigned all of these boundary beam elements to the group first floor main beams. Then secondly, I selected all of these secondary beams here and I assigned these secondary beams to first floor secondary beams. Similarly, I did the same for our second floor. These beams at the periphery to the group second floor main beams and these secondary beams to the group second floor secondary beams and finally this third floor which lies close to our truss where there is no slab I assign these all of these beams at the periphery to the group third floor main beams so in this way I created the group now let's go to the design part in design part first let's see steel frame design here under this steel frame design if you go to view revise preference you have different values for our design procedure and our current design code is IS 800 2007 we won't change any value here so let's just click on cancel go to the same option and now select design groups you see that if these five options were to the left hand side you could just select these five options in this way and then take them to the right hand side by left clicking on add here now these are our design groups each of these design groups each member in one of these design groups will uh, be of the similar section as compared with other members they will be designed as a single group this single group this separate group this single separate group this single separate group in that way so let's click on ok here now select design combinations all of the required design combinations have been taken to the right hand side here let me click on cancel and then finally go to start design check here so before starting the designer check we have to analyze our section so let's run analysis now our analysis model has been created now we can go to design steel frame design and start designer check remember for the frame elements assigned to the auto select list the first selected option and then the design section may differ in that case what we have to do is for example if this beam was assigned this section ismc or ismb 250 at the at very first and after doing the design part if that ismb 250 section is not sufficient then a different frame section will be assigned to this beam in that case what you what this software says is that the analysis and design section differs for that beam so let's check if such analysis and design section differs for our frame elements you can do that by going to design steel frame design and verify analysis versus design section you see that analysis and design section match for all steel frames element so if you these analysis and design section do not match you just have to reiterate the design process you have to analyze the model again and then redesign the model it won't take much time now let's go to this option here design steel frame design and verify mm -hmm. all members passed So it says that five steel frames have failed the stress capacity check. Do you want to select them? Let's click on yes and see which elements have failed here. First, you can see that these purlins that are being displayed in red color have failed here. And secondly, if you rotate your 3D view here, you can see that these frame elements that is supporting the staircase slab have failed. However, all of your lateral load resisting elements that is these columns primary beams have passed here so the only thing that is failing is our secondary elements here which are not much important to resisting lateral load so we will leave this as it is for now also in case of these purlins since we will do manual calculations later on in our design portion we will leave this purlin at the ridge that is showing to be failing now otherwise all the other members have passed here so the color of these 
sections that is being displayed here just represents the percentage of the capacity that is being utilized. You can see that these elements that is shown in pink color here, the utilization ratio is between 0 0.90 and 1. This means these are the highest stressed members here. Whereas these members displayed in blue color, the utilization ratio is less than 0 0.50. So you may optimize your structure by designing this steel structure or designing this structure with a section size of smaller smaller section size also so we won't go to or go over through that optimization process for now since all of our lateral load resisting elements have passed here we will leave those elements and leave those sections as it is so let me go to my plan view here at story one and let's see what has happened there you can see that all of these beams at the boundary have been assigned the same section property that is ISMB 250, the medium beam section of I, I sections of size 250. So if according to the loads that are coming onto these beams, these beams would have different section sizes. However, since we have created and assigned different design groups to these elements, even if they were coming of variable sizes, that means of different sizes, then the software would give us the same size that is ISMB 250 for all of these beams. Similar is the case for beams at the upper stories here. All of these beams are at the upper story are coming to be of size ISMB 300. Now let's see here. These main beams have been assigned different section properties. However, these secondary beams have not been assigned any property as of now. It is because we haven't performed the composite beam design up till now. So let's go to that step now. Go to design, composite beam design and view revise preference. You will see that at the bottom here, the design code, IS code is not available for composite beam design. So you have to select a different codal provision here. For example, if I select this AISC code of 36016, then these different design parameters for beam, shear start, camber, deflection, and otherwise, these factors are based on this design code here. So if you want to learn in a little bit detail about what these factors represent and how composite beam is designed according to this code, let me just click cancel here. You can go to help and then documentation and expand this composite beam design option here and select the required code. That is this topmost code here for us AISC 36016. And then left click on display selected document. Your PDF viewer will open the required file. So here our composite beam design manual AISC 36016 is open now. So you can just go through this, read it carefully, and then you will have much idea about design of these composite beams. So let me close this and cancel. So design, composite beam design, select design groups. Now, since this is composite beam design, what I will do is I will only take these secondary beams to the right hand side for design groups. So our first floor secondary beams and second floor secondary beam design groups is already assigned to this design groups they are on the right hand side so it's okay for now if these were on the left hand side just select them and then left click and add to take them to the right hand side so let me select okay here then go to design composite beam design and now start designer check of your composite beam Okay, composite beam design is not being performed here. Five frames are selected. So let's just unselect all and then go to design composite beam design and start designer check. Okay, now your composite beams that is your secondary beams have been designed here. And all of these sections have been assigned the ISMC 125 section. Since we assigned them to a separate design groups here. So this is coming out to be ISMB 250. Similarly, if you go to the first story level, this is ISMB 250 and the remaining are ISMC 125. So color green means all of these composite beams are also passing as of now. 
So if you go to your 3D view, you can see that you have designed your main frame elements and these composite beam elements also. And every required element has passed the stress capacity check. So this completes the design portion that is to be done by ETAPS here. From next lecture onwards, we will start with design using manual calculations or a different design software. And we will start with the designer base plate with column footing in our next lecture. So till then, stay safe and see you soon. Thank you.